So here's Andrew's doodle bug. It's a 19, what year is this? 29 and 30. I believe. Yeah, it's a doodle bug. Also known as a Model A that's kind of ripped apart and made into a tractor. And uh, as you can see, it's had some modifications, just a few. Uh, upgraded tires, upgraded grill, up upgraded hood. And uh, we added a knock feature to the engine. It sounds awesome. A school bus seat that was installed by Andrew's uncle, who he bought the doodle bug from. Upgraded tires on the back, of course. A six volt battery still, which is charging. And, oh, oh, uh, Zeke is pointing out that it has two transmissions. And we have a surprise for the transmission whenever we can get some footage of driving it. Hey, your key is on in case you were wondering why your battery's dead. Your key is now off. It's a typical Model A. That's the switch for the lights. This is the ignition switch. A fuel gauge switch does work. It's a little bit hard to see right now. And meter does work. And the the I guess this was the first upgrade that we did. We installed this bus seat off the back. What do we call this? Is this like a suicide seat or rumble are those seat. just the rear facing seats? Rumble seat. All right, a rumble seat. Well, pretty much is a suicide seat, but no, it's it's fine. So uh, Zeke and I learned how to weld on this project. We thought that that would be a great first welding project for somebody, <laughs> but it's actually really sturdy and the welds are ugly, but they hold up. Climb right up here and sit on it. Just to demonstrate that point, you can get two people up here. And if you have enough heavy people who hang off the back, it'll actually do a wheelie without very much effort, just popping the clutch. And we had attempted to install headlights on it, LED headlights. And of course, those are 12 volt headlights. So then, um, Andrew got, what was the part that you got that, just a transformer that went a boost, from? A boost converter. <clears throat> okay. A cheap one. All right, so that takes the six, volt, six volts from the battery and converts it to 12 volt for the LEDs. However, that wasn't working out so well. When they were running, they were just strobing. So they were pretty much unusable. So we've given up on that project and we're going to be putting the light bars on the outback where fossils would be, correct? Uh, where the grill would be. Oh, the, the grill, outback, okay. Yeah. Other than that, under the hood, the stock Model A. Six volt generator there, starter there. So, yeah, typical Model A. In line four, very, very simple. We replaced the, um, we rebuilt the water pump. We got a kit for that. And I believe that's a new belt as well. And it does have rod knock. It doesn't work, it doesn't run very well. And the steering's kind of loose, but not as loose as the other doodle bug. It's Andrew's dad's doodle bug, but that one, starts and runs a little bit better but i don't know once once we get those lights on that'll solve all our problems right guys yeah yeah make a big so but speaking of having trouble starting we had to pull start it in the field one day and the outback wasn't doing such a good job pulling it so I decided to pull start it with my Explorer, which did a great job starting it, but I didn't stop fast enough and the chain snapped against the bumper and broke it off. So Zeke's been working on trying to get a new bumper welded up. If he could ever get power, he'd be able to do some grinding. But uh, coffee is more important than bumpers. so. We'll be getting to the bumper in a little while.